Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jeannie and I do a little bit of everything on this channel from outdoor adventures to travel, Colorado life. We just moved to Colorado, so lots of fun home DIY projects going on. So if you're interested in seeing more, be sure to subscribe and follow along. And today is another makeover vlog. So we just moved from Minnesota to Colorado in a brand new house and our home is a two and a half bath. And today, we are working on the half bath. So since it's small, because it's a half bath, I'm gonna kind of spice things up and put a really cool accent wall in it. Now, I don't really know what this accent wall is called. It's not really a chevron, but it's like kind of a chevron, but it's not. So I don't know. I will be hand painting this accent wall. So it'll be a fun little project. I have done accent walls in the past. We actually did a herringbone accent wall on our bathroom in Minnesota. So if you're interested, go check out that vlog. That was a fun one. But this one's a little different. So here's a little footage of what the bathroom looked like before we actually got started remodeling. This is actual footage when we were walking through with our realtor. The first thing that had to go was those ugly, ugly countertops. They look like vomit. And I'm not kidding. They're ugly. I, I can't can't stand them. <laughs> so we replace cords throughout all our bathrooms here and in our kitchen. We are loving that. So with that said, let's get painting, getting things updated, mirrors, lighting, the whole work. So let's get started. Oh yeah! My puke countertops. <clears throat> Adios! Oh. <laughs> all right you guys, the quartz is installed with this brand new sink and cute little faucet, but you're probably like, what the heck is on your wall? Let me explain. There was a mirror here, remember? There's some black tar um, that they use to like hold the mirrors up. Y'all, I've never seen it in my life, but look what it did to my brand new drywalled walls. Yeah, pretty pretty happy about that. That's that's gonna be fun. We're gonna have to like scrape it and like retexture it. But anyways, I love my counters. They are absolutely beautiful and so very happy how those turned out. Let's get finished with the rest of this little bathroom. All right, you guys, this wall is done with the texture and paint. And overall, I'm actually pretty impressed. Like for can texture, that's not bad. The only place there is a little difficult, you can kind of see, is right here where the drywall came completely off. But I, it's not like horrible noticeable at all. So I'm really happy. And once we get the mirror up there, that will also kind of hide some of these imperfections. So we are replacing all our doors here in the downstairs area. Um, it's a work in progress. <laughs> we picked up these Craftsman special order doors from Home Depot. So we're replacing these arches because I prefer these over the arch here. So we have to paint it and everything and get it installed. And then we'll be redoing all the trim in here too. So it's the Craftsman trim. So the door on getting a new door handle because I don't like the round handles that were on the old door so these are the ones we're putting on got these cheaper online they're from Lowe's originally um, and I bought one from Lowe's for our pantry in our kitchen but they're cheaper online right you guys so this is the craftsman tram that we're redoing the bathroom in so you can see we have it already here in like our hallway and then we just replaced this door too so we're getting there. This is what the new trim will be, not that ugly stuff. <laughs> Just one thing I wanna talk about is how we have the trim on along the doors and on the floor right there. <laughs> That's three inch trim. And then the headers, I always go thicker. So the headers are actually five inches. So I just like the top of the door trim to be a little thicker than the rest of the trim. It just kind of gives it a little more uh, character and it doesn't like everything look like the exact same. So that's what we do. Time to get painting and let's start on this accent wall. Gotta get that light fixture down too and that ugly little hand towel holder. Hey guys, I just got everything taped off and so um, this is where we'll be putting in each of those angles each way and so I just want to explain to you how I did this um, so I just put one strip on each side then I found the center of the wall put a strip down there then I took center of this one to the wall found center which is this one put that strip in and then I just did that over here on this side I just kept finding center of each chunk after I found this center then I took center in that one and that one and then I found this line 
and that was perfect. So that's how I know like everything will be exactly level is just doing it that way instead of trying to like do the math to find like all the different numbers. I can just find center for each section. All right, it is time to paint. I'm just using some leftover black paint that we used in our bedroom makeover. So yeah. And then this is what I'm using to make my angles. I'm just going to put it to the side and then make the angle from there. And then this is the brush I'm using. I just got this like pack of brushes from Walmart. They were like, I don't know, a buck or two. So that's what I'm using. All right, here we go. I've never done this before and I'm just not making it fancy or perfect because it doesn't have to be. It's kind of nice not to have everything like perfect looking for the vibe so all right let's do it I to walk straight but I'm down I try to walk away but I'm coming back now I knew I needed you but I didn't know how or why I try so hard I don't know what to do when it's making me cry I don't know what I feel I don't understand why I needed you but I didn't know why now you Oh my god, it looks so cool. So it has to dry and then I'm gonna go over and do a little bit of touch up on some of them um, just to do like a little second coat, nothing crazy. I just like that it like looks distressed. It's not perfect. It's just like hand painted, natural, nothing crazy, but it's awesome at the same time. So after we do second coat, I'll pull the tape off and we'll see how it looks. Oh, I'm not much better than before. It's over the way you touch it, my shoulder I wanna tell you, baby So if you've been following along with my other master bathroom remodel You know I'm a lover of the black and the gold light fixtures And so we're doing pretty much the same light fixture we did in our master Of course just a smaller one since we have a little half bath now But I always get these off Amazon They always have the best pricing And then you can get it at the exact size you need to So cute little guy So this will be the light fixture for the bathroom A cutie little little pooty half bath is finished. It's so stinking cute. It's just like the perfect little bathroom. That's all it is. A little before and then I'll show you the after. Now I'll show you the after. I play Back, back when it's over the way you touch and shoulder I want it back when it's over the back, back when it's over the I try to walk straight but I'm stumbling down I try to walk away but Thinking cute or what? You guys, this wall was so easy! Just a little tape a small paintbrush, some black paint, and a corner angle ruler. You guys, you can make the cutest little accent wall for super duper cheap. And it just adds the cutest accent wall ever. Like, just that pop. That's what this little bathroom needed. And if you know my love of cactus, of course I had to put cactus in this bathroom. So, um, because we don't have a lot of light in here, we just have this smaller window, I couldn't load up a bunch of plants in here. And I know that killed me a little. So I had to mellow out my plant addiction in this bathroom as much as I didn't want to. I did it for the sake of a plant's life. I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you what we got going on in here in case you're interested in any of these items. All right, we'll start from the top and work our way down. So so I already talked about this line. It's from Amazon, loving the gold and black. It's perfect, as well as this black mirror with this chunky frame. It's very thick and heavy. It's like straight metal. So <laughs> um, that was another Amazon purchase. Updated and got rid of that ugly little circle towel holder and just put in this little cutie pooty. It's perfect. I got that guy from Home Depot. Moving along to my fake prickly pear. That guy was at Walmart, you guys. Isn't it cute? That's a Walmart find. Like, cute. Along with this soap holder. Walmart, love it, so cute. This cute black and gold Kleenex box is from Amazon. Moving along to my favorite cactus, a saguaro cactus. That made me fall in love with cactus was Saguaro National Park. The frame is from Target, and then 
You should know by now all the art I get is from Etsy. So this print is from Etsy and it's perfect. This cute little rug right here is from Amazon. I love the details of this. It works so well in here. I feel like it matches the wall and the colors and I love the little fringe detail. It's perfect. New doors and trim in here, as I mentioned. These are all special ordered from Home Depot. We got the handles online, which I love. These little handles, they're so cute. And same with these door handles, they're from Amazon. You guys, I do a lot of Amazon shopping, okay? <laughs> That's why we got Prime. And that is it, you guys. It is done. Our cutie pooty little bathroom is finished. So. Thank you guys so much for watching this remodel. This kind of wraps up a lot of the rooms in our house. We don't really have any left, um, but we are working on our home gym um, in the basement. So I decided to vlog that. Um, and so that's like it, there's nothing left. So if you haven't watched some of our other vlogs, be sure to go check them out. We've pretty much redone like every single room in our house, except um, we didn't do like our offices and my husband's bathroom um, because there was nothing dramatic going on in there. So be sure to go check out those other vlogs too, if you're interested to see more of our home remodel makeovers. <laughs> and if you do this accent wall, definitely let me know down in the comments. I'm curious how it all went for you. So easy, so stinking cute. Absolutely love it. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for future vlogs. We'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye. I don't understand why I needed you, but I didn't know